Hello everyone. The topic I'm presenting today is how to use the free resource that OpenDNS offers to protect your home from pornography. OpenDNS, again, like I said, is a free resource. It's available to anybody who wants to use it. It doesn't cost anything additional each month uh, if you use their basic service. Their basic service basically provides DNS resolution, which is the name to IP resolution that you get when you want to go connect to a website. It provides that resolution. The good thing about OpenDNS is when your computer tries to go to a site that is not necessarily a good site, it can block that for you and, and return a invalid IP address back to your computer or smartphone so that it doesn't go where it shouldn't go. OpenDNS, again, like I say, is a free resource. It's really easy to configure and there are a lot of uh, uh, tutorials and help available for people that want to use it. I'm going to show you a basic way to be able to set it up. On my own home computer, I've brought up a command window. A command window will give you some information that you're going to need to be able to change the configuration in your router. Here we read the IP address of the router. The IP address of the router is 192.168.1.2. If you look down here, you'll also notice that the DNS servers are listed here. Those, that's what we're going to change. Next, we'll need to figure out what we're going to change those numbers to. Here I've brought up my own configuration for my own router. I've already logged in by typing in the default gateway of my machine, which is 1010.1.1. It brings up my router login page. Your router and login page may look a little bit different, but keep in mind that they're all pretty much about the same. Next, we'll need to figure out what we're going to be setting these numbers as. What I've done is I've done a Google search for OpenDNS Family Shield. That's the product that we're going to be using. My first search, which is Home Internet Security Open DNS, I can bring up their page. And uh, you bring it up and click on this setup guide. That's the easiest way to find it. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see the numbers that you want to use to be able to put into there. Okay, the IP addresses is 208.67.222.123 and 208.67.220.123. Those look the same, but they are a little bit different if you notice the 2 and the 0. So we'll take note of those numbers. Okay, Keep this page open because you notice that over here when you get all done and reboot your computer, you'll click this click here to test your settings to make sure that it's working. Alright, back to our router. We go back into our router and you can see here that I've already got things configured. Well, for the most part configured. Let me scoot this over so you can see it. What we see here is we're looking at my IP address that I'm being given from my hosting company subnet mask and default gateway that I'm using there. We don't want to mess with those. What we want to change is we want to look for this right here where it says domain name server or DNS addresses. We want to modify these. Whatever you have entered here, you might have a 68 address or an 8 address or anything like that, but you're going to want to tell it to use these DNS servers and we're going to type in those same numbers that we found at the Open DNS Service Guide. So write those down, 208.67.222.123 and 208.67.220.123, and we will type those in right now. And we will click Apply. This may take a second. I'll pause the video for just a second. And we're back. We've, that took about uh, 30 seconds to a minute to uh, apply those settings. Down here you'll look and see that we've got the new settings already there. And so the next step is to make sure that we get it propagated out to our computer. The easiest way to do that is to reboot, honestly, or to turn off your Wi-Fi and turn it back on again. Uh, for me, I'm going to reset my Wi-Fi. and I will turn it back on again. And then we'll go down to back to that original screen and we will test our settings. Success! So now I'm using uh, Family Shields uh, OpenDNS service. And now that we have it successfully configured, there's a few limitations. First off, if their device is able to turn off and go to data only over cellular network, 
these settings are going to disappear. This only protects those devices that are going to be in your home connected to your Wi-Fi. The second part is, is addictive behavior. People get pretty creative and they can overcome this. You'll still want to have a good relationship and talk about these things with your children or whoever you're, you're working with. Uh, they need to be known. But for the most part, this will keep 99% of it out of your home and it's a great free service.